After many days travelling, we came across a village. At first I thought it was a mirage, too good to be true. But as we got closer, I knew it was our salvation. And so we set up a camp. And with nothing more than the four pumpkin seeds we had from carving the jack-o'-lantern, I began trade with the locals so we could fill our stomach after it being empty for so many days. But the nights, oh the nights, they trouble me so. So to get away from the terrors of the night, I expanded my operation, even branching out into melons, which the locals have told me is a very welcome treat in such a dry and barren climate. My crops bought me such wealth that I'm now the richest man in town. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardcore series. Would you believe me if I said it took me 63 days to get that opening scene sorted? We have moved to a desert village. Um, it wasn't that attached to spawn, so I thought we'd uh, we'd move a little bit, and we've come here. Obviously, I've built this. Nothing too crazy here. Just um, a bit of a hacienda, and you may have heard that because down below I built an auto melon and pumpkin farm, just um, I think it's pretty similar to Il Mango's design. I'd seen it in other people's series and then just thought, oh, I'll give it a go. Seems to be working, as is. Um, and I built this out here, maybe we'll build it bigger, not to wadsy levels, but uh, it's done alright for getting some emeralds and the reason for that is because we may have beaten the ender dragon but we are flimsy. We are <laughs> pretty prone to damage still. We're not that secure and obviously we want to be taking on raids and we need to take on the wither and I think for the first time ever I'm going to fight the wither out in the open on the, the bedrock ceiling of the nether. I think that would be a good place to do it. So to get there I think we're going to need a totem and we're going to need some cool gear. So I have set these guys up in here, the guys I think I'll need. We've got a mending villager, super easy to get. We've got a tool smith, uh, weaponsmith, armorer, fletcher for that stick trade, and we've got the tool smith. Now I haven't bought any of the diamond gear yet. I thought we'd uh, we'd wait to do that together, but I've leveled them up, and you can probably hear what's going on down below because I have set up this zombification chamber which is not quite finished just yet um, well it should be, it should hopefully be functional but we'll have the, uh, the first test of that together but I need to get some bits to make them zombies so I have got spider's eyes just from fighting um, we've got water bottles but I need sugar cane which shouldn't be too much harder to get and we need some mushrooms so I'm going to have to go to the nether for the mushrooms um, I bought the enchanting table over and I bought some bookshelves so we're ready to go with that um, and yeah I didn't do too much I did go to mining a little bit I went back to, to spawn to get the enchanting table and then I thought oh, well, I'll do some mining whilst I'm here and um, just collect the iron that I left when I was looking for diamonds um, and I felt a bit more brave so I went in the caves and back at spawn, I can't believe we missed it, there's a skeleton spawner and a spider spawner you know that first cave we went down in episode 1 where I nearly suffocated in a wall well just there uh, there's a spider spawner if we kept on going for maybe I don't know <laughs> well if we went anywhere near that cave really because we barely got in the opening uh, we'd have found a spider spawner but I have made a makeshift nether portal over here. Um, 
So we sleep the night away and we just get some mushrooms and then we will test out the uh, villager zombie figure together. In fact, it's not even far, it's just here. Okay, we're back. Splash potions brewed and we've got the golden apples. We're going to test this out. It's a bit of a bootleg design, so we'll go for our armour first. So there's a lever here which is powered, goes into a repeater which powered into a piston, just a normal piston. Uh, which has got a gravity block on top of it. The husk should be able to reach him from there. So let's press that. He goes down. And I can't see anything. Which could be a problem actually. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that. Oh no. <laughs> the problem with the design already. Oh goodness. Um Don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know how we got out. Shouldn't have been able to get out. We will have to save him another way. Yeah, come in here. Can I get behind you to place that block? Keep coming. Right, well it should just be him in there. So let's... Yeah, he should be safe, so let's do that. We'll cure him up. And we'll find out why this system didn't work. We lift him up for now. What's going on? Told you it was a bootleg system, so don't use this one. Um, you might have to stay there, my dude. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get you up otherwise. Alright, let's wait for him to cure and I'll... Um, See if I can't get him up this way. Oh my goodness, I came so close to dying. I don't know what's going on there with the husk. I think the husk must be in this space here, but he's gone invisible. Um, I was down there with the zombie once he cured. Uh, I nearly died. I had to, I'm shaking. I paused the game, ate the golden apple, should have been recording. Um, you know, I ate the golden apple and ender pearled out. Thank goodness I had that on my hotbar. Oh, my hands are shaking, that's so close. Um, I now don't have enough gold to, to heal him for the second time. He's going to have to stay there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to kill that husk, I think, in the meantime. But, oh my goodness, that was a really... That was... Whew, closest we come to death. So, this system is a bit scuffed. We're just going to put that there for now. And uh, we'll come back to a way. But at least we'll be able to cure him twice. I just need another seven gold and to work out how we're going to get him out of there um, and then eventually back in but the rest of the guys are going to have to remain uncured or I'll have to find a tutorial for how to do it properly oh my goodness that was too close that was too too close he's just glitching through the through the piston he's glitching through the sand crazy um, thank goodness I had the other golden apple thank goodness I had the ender pearl um, I think if I enderpearled straight away, I would have died because I was down to maybe one heart. But whew, dangerous work. I thought I thought the next dangerous thing we did would be, you know, uh, the wither or something. But no, it's curing villagers. Oh my goodness! All right, let's uh, let's work this out together then. I think if I remove this block, I can see where he is. Maybe it's this side. So he's not there. So where is he? I think he's invisible. He's there. So he was in that space, but he was he was not visible. And that's why he was damaging me, but I couldn't see him. So we're gonna kill you. There we go. So he he's he's out of the picture. Now we should be able to cure 
Macy here. There we go. That is that would have been awful to die to a glitch like that. That would have really, really sucked, especially without recording it. But he absolutely wasn't there. Couldn't see him. He's just whacking me. Our boy is cured, thankfully, and we're gonna we're gonna trade some bits with him now. Uh, we're going to enchant this, we're going to get some OP armor, so nothing like that can ever happen again. I'm talking protection 4 across the board. Uh, we want thorns 3 probably on everything if we can. And these guys should give me a discount for helping their boy. Uh, probably have to wait till gossiping time for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to get going to get all of those, all of those, all of those and as many of those as we can. We're going to give him a tip as well because we're just generous like that and as soon as he's ready to trade we're going to do it all again. Look at them grow! Okay so there's one more thing I want to get done in this episode and we're running a little bit short on time so I've done some prep work. Uh, we've bought all of our diamond stuff which we're going to enchant but down here, down where my collection system is for the pumpkins and melons, uh, we've hollowed out a little bit of ground because the villagers took me in, but they did say none of that funny business. They don't want me crafting potions, going to the nether, uh, enchanting, really. They want me to leave my old life behind, and I, I just can't do it. Not with these dreams that I've been having. So I've hollowed out this area. I think we're going to chuck a nether portal there, a brewing stand there and an enchanting set up there um, and we're just going to decorate this room a little bit largely cobblestone just have it look kind of uh, kind of weathered I guess so I'm going to crack on with that uh, maybe do a time lapse of it and then we'll come back and we'll enchant the bits that we got upstairs so enjoy the time lapse Get off my melons. Okay, well hopefully he gets off my melons. In the meantime, I think we're pretty much shaped out down here. I'm just going to bring down the stuff to make it look good, but I thought I'd give you a little look whilst it's empty. Uh, got some chains, obviously just textured up the walls, just made it look a bit more cave-like and I suppose natural, I guess. Less blocky. It's not perfect, but we'll... Uh, We'll get there eventually, so I'm going to bring everything down, going to make it functional down here, and then we will get all of those enchants on. So let's do it. It's done. Well, kind of. <laughs> I've just done. I just put them in. Nothing really too much going on there. Um, and yeah, I was thinking maybe waterlog some of this as well. Give it a little bit of animation, make it look like some more's going on. Uh, these guys hanging down from chains, not sure if I love that. And then I've got the portal sort of hidden behind there and we'll do something to make that look a bit cooler as well. Um, but the enchanting setup's here and I've got all my diamond gear. So I think we're gonna... Oh, I haven't got a grindstone. I need a grindstone, but I'll do most of this off camera because it's just really boring and long. But let's see what we can get 
on our armor sets. Protection three, no thank you. Protection three. I'm breaking three, no thank you. Eee. Not a good start. And also, we are at day 99, the sun's setting, it's nearly midnight. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll one of these enchantments. So we have made it to day 100, I think, without, oh, we're getting garbage enchantments. Day 100 without dying, 100 days, Minecraft hardcore, here we go. So I think I'm gonna do this enchanting off camera just because it's a bit grindy but in the next episode that OP armor is going to be netherite yeah so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the episode it took me a long time to put this one together um, and I'm pretty happy with how things are coming together we finally started to build so take care see you later bye bye